First down and 10 with the 23 yard line. Shador takes a snap. He throws this one towards the end zone. Fighting for it. Up with the football. Touchdown. Touchdown, Colorado. In a season of improbable plays, you just saw one of the greatest catches you're ever going to see. Well, there he is. That's Travis being Travis, his third touchdown catch. One of the myriad of spectacular plays with a guy that's going to win the Heisman Trophy. Buffaloes blow out Oklahoma State to wrap up the regular season. 52 to nothing. Coach Gary Barnett, voice of the bus, Mark Johnson. 9-3, and 7-2 and two in Big 12 Conference play. Now we wait to see what happens with the postseason. But a dominating performance by Colorado, in particular on the defensive side of the ball. Can you imagine most places getting to see one catch like that a year? <laughs> and we get to see him ho-hum. Yeah, every week. 12 weeks, 11 weeks, Some whatever. Of the greatest 12 weeks. Yeah, seen. Yeah, there it is. Another one. There's yeah. another one. I mean, it's just amazing. And we're privileged to have been able to really yeah. mark, call him, and watch him and, and be a part of this whole thing. But, uh, yeah, this game was – wasn't in question from the from the opening kickoff almost and it was a great performance by our defense I mean spectacular performance yeah. by our defense you know you got a uh, Oklahoma State didn't give us their best effort but I don't know if they know where their best effort is at it this point be. in time but it doesn't make any difference we came out to play and on both sides of the ball and uh, you, you know it was a little sloppy in the first half but o overall at the end of that game we totally dominated the game. Defense played well. Everybody played well. And, uh, you know, everybody handled themselves uh, in, in such a good way. Yeah, Shadour Sanders, 438 or so yards passing, 83% completion percentage, five touchdowns. We mentioned Travis, goes over 100 yards, has three touchdown receptions, has an interception, a couple of pass breakups and a tackle. LeJonte Wester goes over 100 yards. I mean, you just kind of get used to that. But, Gary, it's, it's that defensive side of the ball that has made such an enormous difference. The offense was there a year ago. It was explosive. That defense, what Robert Livingston has done, that hire by Coach Prime has changed everything with this program. There's no question about it. We and and, and we haven't seen a defense like that since, you know, maybe it was close to that in 2016, yeah. but but uh, I don't think so. Uh, and to do it week almost week in and week out, you know, they had two, two oops. Uh, the first half of the Nebraska game yep. and then last week against Kansas. Kansas. Yeah. But, but that's been the biggest difference, as I've seen, uh, over the last two years. Yeah, it's been amazing. This has been a complimentary type of football team between those two. You and I were talking up in the broadcast booth, and I said to you, well, when you look at what Shadur has done here in two seasons, he's got the number five position now for passing yards in a career as a quarterback. We've had great ones, Cordell, Coy, Darian around here. And I said to you, is it just time we say that he's the greatest quarterback Colorado's ever had? And I, I, I think you and I are in agreement on that, aren't we? Yeah, I, I don't yeah. think there's any question. Now, those guys didn't have a, the, the core of receivers that yeah. he had, but it didn't make any difference. They all worked behind a, probably a better offensive line than what he's had to work behind. And so, yeah, I, I my admiration has grown each week for him to how tough he is. You know, and did he miss a play? Did he miss a play this year? No. Because of injury, we saw him no. down. We saw right. him almost knocked out. I mean, the shot he took last week at Kansas was incredible. Mm -hmm. But he keeps getting up, and he throws an accurate ball, and very few bad balls. And, you know, he's a leader out there, he, no question. He's amazing. He also set, by the way, the, the record in a season for touchdown passes in a year. He's been sacked 95 times, guys, in the last two years, and he's done these phenomenal numbers uh, with all of that kind of being on the table in front of him. He's had to navigate around. All right, postseason. Colorado is going to be in the postseason some form or fashion. Does it end up being the Big 12 title game? We'll find out tomorrow with all that takes place. Could they be in the college football playoffs? Maybe. They're certainly going to be in a bowl game. Gary, this is a team you really don't want to face. The way you, they you don't want to play this team. Yeah. And uh, the way our defense is playing, uh, you know, we're something to, to be dealt with. And so it's, it'll be interesting to see who we play, what conference they're from, and just see how we stack up. Yeah. The Buffaloes, though, impressive. When you consider where Colorado was two years ago, Gary and I were talking in the booth. We're sitting there, season's over, it's 1 11. Irrelevant college football team, maybe the worst power team in America. Here we are, 24 months later. You go to four wins, you go to nine wins, you become you know, maybe the most interesting team in college football. Well, Mark, in, in nine months, we became the most talked about and watched football team yeah. and didn't play a game. <laughs> you know, yeah, that's right. Hadn't yeah. played a game and all that happened because of one guy. Yeah. You know, and now uh, uh, 18 months, 20 months later, uh, everybody's watching us. We're going to have a Heisman Trophy yep. uh, winner, probably. We've got maybe the first two guys taken in the draft. 
That's a pretty good 19, 20 months, if you ask me. It's amazing. The Coach of the year, yeah, probably, as right. well. It's amazing the turnaround for Colorado, and Coach Prime has led it all. And the Buffaloes wrap up the regular season with a 52 nothing win over Oklahoma State, 9-3 and in the campaign, 7-2 and in Big 12 Conference play, win a share of the regular season crown, may play for the postseason championship as well. That's the Coach Gary Barnett. Now let's turn to our silent reporter, Andy Lindahl. Oh, bring in the by. house. Here comes pressure, throw it right side, grab his by Lajonte. The defender falls down, and there he goes, down the far sideline, 25-20, 15. 10 5 high steps into the end zone. Touchdown! Touchdown, Colorado! Well, let we bring in our salary reporter, Andy Lindahl, as the Buffaloes went 52 0 over Oklahoma State, wrap up the regular season 9 and 3, 7 and 2 in Big 12 Conference play. You, you've got a talk show here in, in, in town. You guys talk about sports, kind of a broad perspective. From your vantage point, Andy, you stood in the sideline of this thing. You've been a fan of Colorado since you were a kid growing up here in Mile High City. What Prime has done in 24 months? It's hard for me to get my head around, but it, it's been one of the most spectacular coaching jobs I've ever seen. Yeah, and what's crazy is I'd even, he redid it. He hit reset after last year. It yep. is 24 months, but really 12. We didn't watch this kind of football a year ago. It's been very, very impressive. I didn't, I didn't think you could turn a college football program around this quickly, right? Now I realize it's a new era, and I understand that you got the transfer portal and the rules are different and you don't have to stay with a roster, but... To put an offense in like they did now, you know, they, they did it some different ways against Oklahoma State, the game that we just got done covering. But, you know, to watch Pat Shermer get a run game in here, to force some two tight end sets, to be a little more balanced, to watch Shadour be as special as he was. You heard about Shadour coming in, Mark. How often have you and I covered athletes that actually live up to the hype? Shador might have been more than the hype that he got coming in here. He's it, been it's better amazing. than the hype. Travis, Travis has been better than the hype. I mean, you know, you, they weren't here, so you didn't know. When you see them firsthand, you go, boy, they're pretty talented. They've ended up better than we ever thought uh, they were. How many plays, and I, I probably got a 1,000 of them on my phone, does Shador buy himself time yeah. and then just yeah. put the perfect pass down the field to hit one of his receivers? Oftentimes it was Travis, but not the whole time. Lejante Wester. I know who the Lejante Wester was. I love watching Lejante play. He's a fun young man to talk to after yep. games. Prime is really, I, I think Prime is really spent, he, he's done a magical job this way. They spent time after the game, and not just Prime, not just the Sanders family. They got the team meeting going late. If I'd have known what they were going to do, you and I could have snuck in three or four more interviews on the field because kids that just got here, we're soaking in the moment. We're, we're taking a look yeah. at the stands. There's been a, a, a loyalty, a commitment, a unity given to this CU program. I don't think you and I have seen in a long time. I just think that, that you've got to step back at this point. You have to appreciate kind of the genius of Prime in terms of how he handled this. You know, I've had people say to me, I watch him. He says the right thing every time in the circumstances. He's approached this, really brought kind of, a, kind of an NFL mindset to how he's kind of created this franchise and the, I think, culture that he's put together. Well, it is. And I think that if colleges don't get on board with doing it the way Prime does it, then you're going to get left in the past. Mm -hmm. He hauls in a big free agent class every year. I, I said this to one of my I'm on my radio show partner, Nate Kreckman. I said, we are now dealing with college free agency. Mm -hmm. Colleges now have general managers. The game is changing in front of our eyes. And mm -hmm. I think Prime is a step ahead of understanding how it's yeah. changing. Because again, not only did he came in here and brought us some fun football last year. He's, he's closing in on elite football this year with the record and the chance to go to a mm -hmm. Big 12 mm -hmm. championship. The thing about it is, I'm not sure how many people, they might want to do it this way. Right. He's such a unique human being, I don't know how many can do it this you way. You know what, and, and we probably need to give more credence to that. I'm just yeah. going to say it how it is. Colorado doesn't have the, the war chest mm -hmm. that Alabama has, that Michigan has, that Ohio State or Oregon has. And so he's finding a way to get it done. Rick George yeah. is finding a way to get it done. If you're yeah. a Colorado booster out there, my hat off to you because you're helping to build this thing. I mean, it's been really impressive because they're they are fighting with the heavyweights. And I'm not sure when you look at our war chest, we're in that heavyweight class yet. Yeah, but because of Prime and what he brings to the table and kind of his skill set and the dynamic nature that he brings, he's been able to do that. L lastly here, uh, I said to Gary, I'll, I'll throw the same thing at you. We're Colorado is right now. And we don't know what's going to happen again with the postseason. They get into a conference title game hmm. and maybe get themselves to the college football playoffs. Who wants to play Colorado? 
Nobody does because, again, you've got the Heisman Trophy winner. You're going to have the Heisman Trophy winner by yep. the time you get to whatever that bowl game is, whether it's playoffs or just a bowl game. And to me, you've got the best quarterback in college football. Yep. Look at the rankings. That's not just a couple of CU guys telling yep. you that. Yep. Look at the athletic. Look at ESPN. Look at a lot of the draft nicks. They're already talking about Shadur. Now, again, you know, look, the sack numbers, holding on to the ball. Shadur is going to have to prove some things during workouts, sure. okay? But my opinion, he's going to be – he's – Probably going to be the number one pick. If it's not him, it's Travis. Yeah. I mean, take your pick. That's right. Well, one of them is going to be a buff. Depends on if the team needs a quarterback or not. Well, and how, but look run. at what we saw last year. There's <laughs> been a whole lot of talk. Yeah. Uh, we yeah. had six quarterbacks taken in the first 12 picks. Now, I think it was a reach for a couple of them, but it doesn't matter. Teams need this. Mm -hmm. It's working out in general for most of the teams that drafted the quarterbacks. There's going to be a great desire to go get Shadour. If you're looking at Quinn Ewers or Shadour Sanders, I mean, come on. What are you looking at? What are you doing? Who are yeah. you picking? Number two is the best quarterback in college football. Number 12, the most dynamic player in college football. He will win the Heisman. And they were shining brightly in a ball game that wrapped up the regular season today here at Folsom Field. 52-0. Buffalo's knockoff Oklahoma State. And now we sit and wait. Like Just like you, we're going to be watching and seeing if the tumblers fall in the right position to get the Buffs into the Big 12 title game and then what happens in the postseason. But on senior day, it was a magical afternoon as the Buffaloes roll over the Cowboys and win 52 to nothing. For Coach Gary Barnett and Andy Lindell, I'm Voice of the Bus, Mark Johnson. We'll talk to you next time.